Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3. Now this is an untethered jailbreak, and it works for your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, GSM models only, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, as well as the 1st generation iPad. Now this does not work with the iPad 2 as of now, and a lot of people actually ask me what the difference is between an untethered and a tethered jailbreak. Well basically tethered means that you have to plug it in and you have to run some sort of program every time you need to reboot it, whether it's because it dies or because you just have to reboot it for some reason. And just the other day when I showed you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3 with the older version of Red Snow, that was a tethered jailbreak. And every single time you had to reboot it, you had to run Red Snow in the Just Boot Tethered Now mode. Well, Red Snow has been updated today to support iOS 4.3.3 and again, it is untethered for all of these supported devices. So I'm just going to show you guys that I do have an iPod Touch 4th generation and that it is on iOS 4.3.3. So you can tell that I am on an iPod Touch 4th generation because again, I have the camera and FaceTime apps as well as a back facing camera and a front facing camera. So I'm just going to go inside of settings and then general and then about. And again, I'm just going to show you guys that I am on 4.3.3. So where it says version, it says 4.3.3. So now that you guys know that, I'm just going to show you how to do it. You will have to have the latest version of Red Snow as well as iOS 4.3.3 for your device downloaded. And I recommend putting them in a place where you can easily find them, such as your desktop where mine are located. And I will have a link down below in the more info that will have the downloads as well as written instructions in case you get confused and you need something to refer to. So first of all, we're just going to plug in our device device and again in this case I'm using an iPod Touch 4th generation and then simply open up Red Snow. Once Red Snow is opened up you're just going to have to browse for your firmware and again I have mine placed on my desktop and it